हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई चैनल ऑल अबाउट बायोलॉजी एंड दिस इज ज्योति वर्मा एंड टूडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द ए बी सी मॉडल ऑफ फ्लावर डेवलपमेंट एज वेल एज अबाउट द ए बी सी डी ई मॉडल ऑफ फ्लावर डेवलपमेंट बट बिफोर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट दैट वी शुड हैव द नॉलेज अबाउट द फ्लावरिंग जीन्स सो बेसिकली देर इज अ शूट वेजिटेटिव मेरी स्टेम दैट अंडर गोज अ ट्रांजिशन इन टू अ फ्लोरल मेरी स्टेम एंड दिस ट्रांजिशन रिक्वायर्स अ काइंड ऑफ जीन्स अ सेट ऑफ जीन्स दैट इज कॉल्ड एज फ्लोरल मेरी stem identity genes then this floral mary stem again undergoes a transition into a flower that consists of certain whorl certain units and for this transition there is requirement of again a certain group of genes that is called as the floral organ identity genes so if we talk about the examples here then the floral mary stem identity genes the examples are leafy which are designated as lfy a petala 1 which is ap1 then cauliflower which is cal then the floral organ identity genes in the case of arabidopsis these are a petala 1 a petala 2 a petala 3 pistillata that is pi and a gamus that is ag coming to the homeotic genes homeotic genes basically are certain group of genes or class of genes that regulate the development of certain anatomical structures in the plants and in the case of flower development these genes are the homeotic genes as we will discuss here coming to abc model of flower development so this model was firstly formulated by george hogan and chris somerville in 1988 and the experimental plant here was arabidopsis thaliana and antirrhinum mesus if we talk about the abc model then the abc model basically denotes that three classes of homeotic genes are required to regulate the development of floral organ that is the floral organ identity genes are here used up and these are categorized into three different classes which are designated as class a gene class b gene and class c gene so here are the genes the genes are class a genes that include a petala 1 and a petala 2 class b genes that include a petala 3 and pistillata and class c genes that includes a gamus now coming to arabidopsis so in the case of arabidopsis there are four whorls the outermost whorl is the calyx that consists of sepal then next to it is the corolla that consists of petals next to it is the androecium that consists of stamens and the central most whorl is the gynoecium that consists of carpel or pistil so this is your abc model that involves three classes of genes and these are drawn like this the class a gene then class b and then class c so in the case of first whorl that involves the formation of sepal this activity is controlled by class a gene for second whorl that involves petal this activity is controlled by class a and class b gene for third whorl that involves stamen this activity is controlled by class b and class c gene and finally the fourth whorl that involves carpel this activity is controlled by class c gene so as we have discussed it earlier in the form of a diagram now we can interpret it in the form of a chart to make it simpler so for first whorl that involves sepal it is formed by class a genes and class a genes are a petala 1 and a petala 2 then second whorl that involves petal and it is controlled by class a genes and class b genes class a genes are ap1 and ap2 and class b genes are ap3 and pi that is pistillata then third whorl that involves the formation of stamen which is controlled by class b genes and class c genes class b genes include ap3 and pi and class c genes include a gamus that is ag then the fourth and the central whorl that involves carpel which is controlled by class c genes including a gamus that is ag you can make it more clearer by making a different diagram like this so for the outermost whorl that involves sepal class a gene second whorl that involves petal class a plus b genes then the third one that is the stamen b and c gene and the central whorl that is the carpel involving the class 
C genes coming to mutation in class A B C genes so we will discuss that how mutation of these genes will impact the overall appearance of a flower so this is your normal situation that is the wild type in the case of arabidopsis and we have discussed it earlier so you have to remember this normal situation because in each case we will compare it the mutated and the normal ones okay so you have to remember these situations then according to researches the class a genes and the class c genes are mutually antagonistic to each other it means that if you mutate a class a gene then in its place class c gene is expressed and in the same way if you mutate a class c gene then in its place class a gene will be expressed so putting this concept into the concept of mutations we will uh, see that how the changes are going on within the appearance of a flower so coming to our first case that is class a gene mutated if class a gene is mutated then class c gene is expressed in its place so drawing it like this in the place of class a gene there will be class c gene and interpreting the results like that okay so for first world in the place of class a there is class c okay so for first world as there is class c gene so it will be responsible for the formation of carpal hair because in the normal situation the class c gene was responsible for the formation of carpal for second world class c and b are working together here and in the normal situation class c and b were forming stamen so here the same thing will happen class c and the class b gene will form stamen then coming to the third world for the third world there will be the formation of stamen also because here class b and class c genes are working together and finally for the fourth world as the class c is here so there will be the formation of carpal so if class a gene is mutated then in that type of flower there will be no sepal no petal only carpal and stamen will be there coming to class c gene mutation so it is similar to class a gene mutation just reverse of it so in if class c gene is mutated then in this case the class a gene is expressed as both of them are mutually antagonistic to each other now drawing it like this and you have to compare the results with the normal one also so th that you can remember it very easily so for first world uh, here the class a genes are working only and they will lead to the formation of sepal like in the normal wild type coming to second world for second world class a and class b genes will work together and they will form petal coming to third one class b and class a gene will work together and they will form petal and for the fourth world only class a gene will work and it will form sepal so the mutated flower will look like that and it will have a uh, the outermost wall is sepal then next to it is petal the third wall is also petal and the fourth wall will be sepal so this is your mutated flower if class c gene is mutated now coming to our final case that is class b gene mutation so if class b gene is mutated then in such a situation only class c and class a gene will be expressed coming to it the first world will express only class a gene and it will form sepal the second world will also express only class a gene because the class b gene is absent here and it will also lead to the formation of sepal in the second world coming to the third world in this case only class c gene is expressed because class b gene is absent here so in this case carpal is formed in the third world and finally for the fourth world only class c gene is expressed and in the center there will be carpal so this is the mutated flower if we mutate class b genes in this case the outer and the second world will have sepal and the third and the fourth world will have the carpal so these are the results of mutation in different classes of genes so if different classes of genes are mutated then results will vary accordingly 
now coming to a b c d e model of flower development so the a b c model has been recently expanded and now it is called as a b c d e model of flower development because two classes have been recently added to it which are class d and class e so class d genes in the case of arabidopsis involves genes which are named as seed stick which is stk shatter proof 1 shp1 shatter proof 2 shp2 so the class d genes are basically ovule specific genes and these are involved in ovule development coming to class e genes so in arabidopsis class e genes are represented as sepalata 1 that is your sep1 sepalata 2 that is your sep2 sepalata 3 sep3 and sepalata 4 sep4 so these four genes are responsible for the normal functioning of the other classes of genes like a b c and d okay because it was noticed that when uh, sep1 two and three are mutated a triple mutant was uh, there in the flower then in such a situation all the floral whorls will have sepals only and addition of the sep4 mutation results in the conversion of all floral organs into leaves so it indicated that there was complete loss of floral organ identity when all the seps were mutated so this indicates the fact that class e genes are required for the functioning of a b c d gene classes so that is all about for today if you like the video just subscribe to my channel for further updates thank you so much